I'm really excited for this fight. I'm really excited to see how much Dylan White learned from the previous fight, how much he's come on. I'm excited to see whether Alexander Povetkin is still, you know, even more fired up and, and more confident now where he'll just think, this is my title now. I'm the champion. I've knocked you out and I'm going to do it again. It's scheduled for 12 rounds. There aren't many that think we are going to need the three scoring judges at ringside for this one because these two have both been on the deck quite a bit in recent fights. But who is going to land the decisive blow in this one? Will it be 2-0 for Povetkin or will White get his revenge? Uh, you heard the introduction there of Harold Knight, part of the training team, who was part of the Lennox Lewis team for a number of years. And Harold, the old super featherweight, has said he really wants to get... Oh, hello, an early, an early blow there for White. And he hasn't got his legs under him at all here, Povetkin. And he's really all over the place. Oh, that's incredible. He's in big trouble early, catches a left hook. Needs to settle himself down here, less than a minute to go. Boy, oh boy, these guys are throwing howitzers. Nick, I, I don't think a single shot landed clean yet. I think they were all glancing off the gloves onto the target. A lot of that was just, just the, the sheer weight and the force behind the shots, pushing Povetkin off balance, in my opinion, there. Well, I agree with you. I didn't see anything clean. It, when, look, he's... he's certainly dangerous coming back. You know, he doesn't seem hurt. He just seems, seems to be a little bit of an issue with his balance. He keeps having a little... That was a good shot from White. And he's taking it much better than the other ones. And White really loads up with that right hook. Good shot nice. again there from White. Textbook. Get off with the jab, bring the right cross into play. There hasn't been a person to finish that sentence. There hasn't been a person that's been in the ring with Dylan White and had an easy night. You know, Anthony Joshua included. He, he's a tough night's work for anyone. Just looking a bit unsteady on his feet, Perfect. And he, he did in the first round, even before anything major landed. He, he caught a little bit of a shot around the back of the head. But nothing too, too big or too eye catching. Just doesn't seem like his balance is the best at no, the moment. It's, it's, it's really strange. Little bump under the left eye of Povetkin as well. Bit of bruising. Yeah, White has been a bit more thoughtful and a bit more patient in this second round, which means we haven't quite had the fireworks. And the left hand does land from Povetkin. Not through that time. Oh, and again, he's... Uh, every time he throws that left hand, you're just thinking, oh, what's going to happen? We all know what happens if Alexander Povetkin lands cleaner. Another man you know very, very well, a, a fellow Liverpudlian, David Price, absolutely yeah. wiped out by Povetkin, having previously put him on the floor. He is always dangerous. Devastating shot and, and very good, obviously, re recuperation. You know, he, he, he oh, good oh, shot there from, from Povetkin. Yeah, and it was the right hand as well. Just glanced off the back of the head of White. But here we are in round three then. been very very watchful the Russian slow to get going but it's only going to take one to land clean and detonate oh, White to landed there as they've been looping right hands and he is loading up with his shots White there's the jab again you hear Harold Knight just saying there you go I mean that is there for him people forget as well with with White He's had, he's had extensive experience in K1, kickboxing, Thai boxing, MMA. You know, Ooh, oh, hello. He slipped on the, the Toblerones on the side, the advertising. He's had a lot of experience in, in K1, MMA. I, I, I remember watching a spa with him and Rampage Jackson. And after four rounds, Dylan put the shin pads on and kicked for four rounds as well. You know, he's, he's a tough man. He's experienced in all the, all the rough stuff inside. Not able to land clean there. Oh, oh good shot he from landed White. clean there though. White rocked him back with that right hand. Well, that's got his attention, hasn't it? And he follows up with a big right hand over the top as well. And Povetkin has 
Taking it and taking it well. Staying patient, Dylan White. He knows what to expect from Povetkin. He knows it's not over till it's over. As you said before, we've seen him hurt bad before off the likes of David Price and others, and he, he still comes back. Nice start to this round from White, who is boxing well, but he was boxing oh, well in the first fight. He's, he's got hurt. him again with a big one, and he's in trouble again, Povetkin, but this is when he's dangerous. As White looks to go for broke, and they're both just throwing bombs now here this, in round four. This is what we expected. One fighter will get hurt, it'll catch fire, and then they'll, they'll both open up at the same time. Dylan White needs to be careful. Oh, he looks unsteady, doesn't he, Povetkin? But always dangerous. And then 30 seconds, 40 seconds go by, and he's recovered. That, that's what you have to remember mm. with him. He recovers really well. Always dangerous. He's landed another jab there, White, and uh, brought another one in, but couldn't land the right hand off the back of it. I think the corner work and the advice for, for Dylan White in, in between rounds has been good so far, and the advice next has to be, you know, listen, it's a it's a 12 round fight. The more you catch him and hurt him, you don't need to sh to jump on him to close the show. A couple of rounds later, them shots are going to put him down. He's not going to get back up. He's not going to recover. He can't miss with these still jabs. Still fresh there at is, the moment. You're right. He there's can't no miss. No head movement from Povetkin at all. He's still dangerous. He's jabbing, slipping inside. He's still looking for that uppercut or the left hook, which he throws very, you know, unorthodox. The way he, he lifts his elbow so high. I mean, you know Dillian White better than me. He'll want the highlight reel finish. He'll yeah. want he'll want his revenge in spectacular fashion. He'll want people talking about the knockout. But I tell you, he can make life easy for himself just sitting behind that jab because Povetkin's got no answer to it at all. You're right. He, he'll, he'll want a, he'll want a highlight reel just oh, as bad as the one he had again. on himself. Another good right hand there from Dylan White. A lot of reddening just appeared yeah. on the forehead of... of He's Pavekin. got him again. Right hand. And again, and he wobbles again. There's a left hand gets him on the floor. White makes the breakthrough in the fourth round, just as he did back in the summer. But he's all the over the place, back. and Victor Lockton says that'll do it. He gets his redemption. He gets his revenge. He gets his reward. Dillian White back in business. He looked a bit wobbly and uncertain. That one caught him anyway. He was definitely wobbly and uncertain. The legs had gone again, and that's a heavy old knockdown. Yeah. And Victor Lachlan saw the eyes there and looked at him and said, oh, no. Yeah, look at those legs. I mean, he could bear, yeah, and as you said, the towel came in. But those legs were were, were betraying him, weren't they? But the legs never looked right from, from, from the get-go. No, they did. That, was, that was a really good stoppage. As I've said about Victor Lachlan, he's a top referee. And that was a good stoppage. Listen. Your health is, is, is your most important is the most important thing. The health of the fighters and the safety of the fighters is paramount and we, we can't stress that enough. And let's have it right, you're not exactly saving Alexander Perfectin for another day, are you? You're saving him for his long term yeah. health, his longevity and, and yeah. his day to day life now. He's gonna go home and enjoy his family and his, his retirement, hopefully and retire having have having had an absolutely phenomenal career, amateur and professional. And hats off to him, he's been a great champion in the past. A trademark Dillian White left hook finishes this one.